What's up, guys? Welcome back. Let's start money with me, Jamie. Now, today, I'll be a little bit different because what I really want to show you guys is actually an interview that I did last week. Last week, Thursday, on Smile Jamaica. This morning time, about PS slip. So, I'm just going to post that, make you guys see. You understand? Because personally, I think it was a great achievement. So, you say, oh, actually, I do something right for the movement. For Smile Jamaica to actually reach out. You understand? And say, oh, they're willing to do something with me in that regard. So, now, if you're new, Jamie Radcliffe. Remember to subscribe, turn on your post notification. Also, you can like the videos and so on. But, let's get into the Smile Jamaica video, alright? So, most of us only pull out our pay slips to compare our net pay with our gross pay. But there is so much more to your pay slip than you might even know. And today we've invited accountant and entrepreneur Jamie Radcliffe to help us make sense of it all. Good morning, Jamie. Morning, How are Jamie. You? Hi, good morning. How are you guys doing today? We're all right. We're Happy good. New Year We're to good. you We're and yours, my friend. Jamie, we, we just need to know how much money we carry in home, don't we? What else we need to know? Well, no, you need to know if it is the money that you carry in home is the correct money that you should be bringing home. You want to know how much money you're getting and how much money is going to the government every month. Um, that yeah. kind of upset me a little bit because <laughs> I want to carry on all my money. The no money should be going to the government. The pay slip has how many different things on it? Well, all right. On your pay slip, you're going to have your general information. You know, you have your NIS, your TRN. Um, depending on the company, you might have more things. But as it pertains to your taxes, there's normally five different tax types on your pay slip every month. You have your income tax. Everybody knows your income tax, your, your NIS, your NHT, and your education tax. While your pension is not really a tax type, it is there on a monthly, depending on where you work. Okay, and then and then other deductions. Is the employer legally obligated to, to give me a pay slip? Like sometimes if they say, listen, the pay is going to go straight to your account. And that's that. Sh should I demand the pay slip? Yes, you need a pay slip. Because if someone is just sending your money um, to your account, what are they sending it for? How did they get to this amount of money? How do you know if anything is correct? So you need your advice to say, hey, this is how much money I am getting because this is a contract that was signed to say, all right, you're going to be paying me this amount of money per month. And you need to know how much money the government is taking and your other deductions, how much is going to those deductions to see where you come out at the end of the day mm -hmm. or your net pay. Yeah. So do we all know how much tax the government takes from us? Do you think everybody know that? Because I'm not certain I do. <laughs> well, you should. You should. But to be honest, most persons don't. It's yeah. normally done. It's done on a percentage basis every month. Uh -huh. So if your pay goes up by, let's say, 10000 the government is going to take a percentage of that new 10000 to upgrade your taxes on okay. a monthly basis. So you, yeah. couldn't, you couldn't tell us that everyone when pay 25% tax or everybody pay 30% tax. That's, that's not the way it works. No, man, yes. Everybody pays 25% for any for income tax but it all depends on how much money you are getting because never you could be getting about three hundred thousand per month you know and i'm getting a hundred thousand you know different 25 percent there yeah yeah mm. but don't there's some threshold that you don't pay tax until you earn a certain amount and stuff like that yes so on a yearly basis you get a threshold of 1.5 million and 96 dollars per year so if you are earning below the 1.5 million per year, you're not going to pay income tax. Right. So income tax is the only one the threshold applies to. Ah. Right. So if you earn 2 million, you only pay tax on the half million? Yes. Okay. Yes and no, because yes and there no. are deductions that help to limit how much you pay out of the half million again. No, I'm talking oh. about income tax straight now. Because you said if I earn 1.5, I don't pay any income tax, right? No. So if I pay 2 million, I only pay income tax on that half a million? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. wow. It's important to have these kinds of conversations, Jamie. 
Right now, everybody just took out their pay slips to find out what they were doing. All right. Um, so, 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 so walk me through how do you read the pay slip? Because sometimes, yes, you get the pay slip. Yes, the, it's itemized and you see figures, but you really just shoot to how much do I have this month and can it pay my bills? So, so how do you read a pay slip? Which is true. All right. So what I'm going to do daily, I'm just going to pull up a copy of my pay slip and show you how it's broken down and how the different taxes come out and how I get to the money that goes into my bank at the end of the month. Okay. All right. Where is it? All right. So right yeah. here you have a basic breakdown of my um, pay slip. Now, as I say, you have different, different information on it. Like right here, this is just my regular information. It shows my department, my name, NISTRN. And as I said, depending on where you work, there might be other information going on it. Now, your taxable salary, Dalia, mm -hmm. is the amount that you signed your contract for. for ah. so, yes. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, I get paid 150000 per month, meaning my contract has a value of about $1.8 million yearly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pay a tax, well, income tax on the additional 300,000. Mm -hmm. But as I said, there are other deductions that you need to take into consideration on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. Now, over here, we have the deductions that come out. For Jim, me, I don't Jim, have Jim, any Jim, loans Jim, or anything like Jim, that. Jimmy, sorry to jump in, but those deductions are the same every month? If my taxable salary doesn't change. Right, okay. Yeah, man, yes. continue. I just wanted to, to be sure about that. Continue. No problem. Now, as I said before, all of it is done on a percentage basis. So we're not going to start with income tax first because income tax is a little bit harder to calculate overall. Right. So first, you go to your pension. Now, pension is done on 5%, 10%, or 15% of your salary. Now, for me, I'm only paying 5% of my 150,000 here. So this 5% they pull directly from the gross taxable amount and give me 7,500. 7, but the thing don't know, if you, if I decided to up my pension contribution up to, let's say 10%, no, I'm paying 15,000 for pension, you know, but the overall cost to me is going to be less. It's going to be about 5,400 and something dollars to up my contribution five more percent because what that does is to lower your income tax amount as well as your education tax. The next thing we look at is your NIS. Now, NIS is 6%. So 6% up to 1.5 million currently. It should be raised shortly, but 6%, 1.5 million, it's not 3,700. Is half of it. So this is basically 3% because your employer also pays 3% for you. So when you when the government is collecting, they're going to collect the 7,500, but you only pay the half of it, which is a 3,750. Next, you have your NHD. Now, I know a lot of persons like to contribute to your NHD because this is how you are able to get your NHD benefit if you want to buy a house or if you want to renovate and so on. And this is done at a flat 2% of your gross salary. Now, as I was saying before, for your pension, if you up it, then your education tax will go down. And the reason for this is that education tax is calculated on your taxable salary after you remove the pension amount. So education tax, which is 2.25%, is taken out of the 150000 minus 7,500. So 2.25% of 142,500. And you'll get your education tax. Okay. We have to go. We're out of time, Jamie. But final question. Money based yeah. Final <laughs> question. Is there anything I can... Do I have a choice? I can't say them are not paying NHD because I don't want to buy any house and I'm not paying NHD. Do I have a choice? No, once you're employed, your employer is obligated to pull the tax out of your um, okay. pay slip and pay it over to the government every month. All right. I'm impressed because you certainly know what you're talking about. I just wish 
Um, you don't make me just carry home all of my salary, and I don't have to pay no tax or nothing. <laughs> Take care, my friend. Good to see you, and thanks so much for speaking with us. Have a, a wonderful 2021, all right? Thanks, Neville, and thanks for giving me the opportunity. Yeah, Bye -bye. man. Yeah, Jamie Radcliffe, accountant and entrepreneur. All right, so thanks for watching that, guys. So as you can see, this is my first interview on Smile Jamaica. Hopefully, we have lots more to come. But let's see how that goes. Now, if you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe, turn on your post notification. And remember, hit that like button as well. Cool? Now, until next week, people. Bye-bye.